our live sessions. Uh, why don't you guys introduce yourselves? I'm Adam. Dave. We're when and where. Yeah, you guys just did a killer set for us. Three songs. You can look for them online, blacksquareradio.com. Uh, why don't you walk us through what you guys just played, for starters? So our first song was called Reminders. Um, it is our first single and only single we put out in February. We went, we went to uh, Compass Audio uh, in Akron with Steve Perino. Super good dude. And um, we just did a single there at the time. We kind of... Um, before that, we, we've been a band for about two years. It's not just me and him. It's uh, our buddy Tom. And then uh, at the time, it was our friend Paul on guitar, and Tom was on drums. But uh, Paul recently left the band. So as of now, it's just kind of us three. Um, but at that point, we've been a band for about two years. Um, and I was having a lot of health issues at the time we started. So we kind of had songs. We practiced, but we didn't really do much. Um, and so thankfully, around actually you know end of last year, I started feeling better enough to start gigging and stuff. So we started gigging. Um, then we were like, you know, let's keep the momentum going. And we did the single and we've just been playing shows where we don't have a lot of money to really go in the studio or anything. So that's kind of been that. But, um, as of recently, you know, I do a lot of audio work and stuff. I do my own recording. Um, so I decided, I'm like, let's just do some demos. And it kind of turned into like demos for ourselves. And now it's kind of like, these are going to be like high quality demos that we're just going to put out, you know, it's not EP quality. Um, so that's in the works now. So cool. Uh, what was what was the process like going in to write that stuff and cut it? Like, what's your what's your mindset when you go in to work on something like that? Well, actually, when we first started the band, because um, I pretty much am like the primary songwriter, I'm trying to like throw shade on anybody. <laughs> um, so when we first started the band, I actually had like it basically you know almost an entire album's worth of of music, because um, you know prior to the band starting, I was unfortunately having health issues, and so I wasn't really uh, I, was, I was very hesitant to start the band, but you know I had some friends that were kind of like just come on man just have some fun and eventually that kind of like got me over that negative thinking whatever um so by the time we started i was kind of like hey i got these tunes do you want to play these songs and they're like yeah let's play them whatever and you know we started playing them and it was like well eventually we're like hey are we a band and we're like yeah we're a band and that was that so it's a pretty pretty easy start i guess we already had songs good to go that's convenient yeah uh you guys just did a smith's cover for us when we uh Obviously, Smiths fans, I guess. Uh, why don't you talk about influences, stuff like that, you know? Or dunk on the Smiths for a little bit. That's always fun. Yeah. Dunk I'll, I'll let you go on that. You definitely... Um, wow, there's many. Uh, the Beatles is my favorite band. Should I be talking about this? Hi. Hi. <laughs> uh, the Beatles is my favorite band. Um, the Smiths. Um, the National. Brian Adams. Weezer. I rip off Weezer a lot. Um, yeah, just kind of... Uh, 90s alternative, like Dinosaur Jr. and Super Chunk and stuff like that. That's that's mainly my stuff. Yeah, I mean, I I um, you know, I grew up on classic rock sort of stuff, and then when I was f like 14, 15, you know, I heard Nirvana, and that was like just like hit me super hard. And so I got into all the 90s stuff, like Soundgarden and Alice Chains and all that stuff, all through high school. And then, kind of ironically, um, when I was entering college, I discovered basically punk rock i got really into rise against and black flag and um the suffer and the witness and um damage by black flag were two albums that just like changed my world and actually i was at kent state on a trip to look at kent state to go to college but i was like 17 and i hated school i didn't want to go to college that's my folks you know and all i had my buddy had gotten these you know uh, albums from the library and we were like exchanging music and he's like just put these on your ipod and i was just like in the car and I didn't want to be there so I just basically put it on shuffle and it was like everything changed that day I was like I finally you know heard this music I captured that was like representing how I felt because you know I felt like Nirvana was doing that but there I couldn't I couldn't put my finger out what Nirvana was doing and I realized it was punk rock um and so that went on to let you know get me into Minor Threat and Bad Religion and you know all that other sort of stuff um so you know my influencers are super wide I mean I like everything from the Beatles to you know, Ryan Adams and Oscar Du and Bob Mould and the Smiths and Nirvana. But I also love, like, um, I don't know, I mean, I'm trying to think of some pop music I can, like, you know, like Team Impala or whatever, and Radiohead and, you know, Big Black and obscure music like that. So, I mean, it's definitely in the range of, like, I guess, like alternative rock and punk rock. But, you know, it's, we don't want to just do that. We, I mean, that's what we're starting with now. We really want to have a wide spectrum of music to play. So. Oh, and arguably the best band out of Ohio, the Sidekicks. Yes. Full tick. Here to your first, folks. Um, kind of, kind of touch on what you just said. Like you, you want to have a, a like a litany of, 
kind of styles to, go, to choose from as a band? Like, what do you, where do you see this project going? Like, what do you guys want to sound like eventually, I guess? We're kind of, like, figuring that out right now because, like I said, we had the, the songs we first started with, and, I mean, you know, any band that, that wants to sound good, they have to play the songs over and over and over. And, you know, inevitably you kind of get sick of them. I mean, playing shows is fun stuff, but it just, with the way kind of things were going um, with, like, you know, we were trying to play shows to kind of, like, get ourselves familiarized in the scene, and I can't really say we are yet, but to some extent, you know, um, it, it helped, obviously. Um, but we kind of were just focused on playing shows, and so with our work schedules and everything, we couldn't really practice too much. But I have been eager to write new songs forever. I mean, I, I always have music and, and new music and that sort of thing. So um, what's interesting is that, you know, we're playing these this set of, like, five songs f for so long, and kind of that's that's what the demo is, basically. But they don't necessarily represent what we're going to be because, you know, those are kind of straightforward not like punk punk, but you know, kind of punk in the vein of like replacements and rise again. So it's melodic. Um, but you know, we're like I said, we we listen to everything. You know, we love like I said, the Smiths and Husker Du and the Cure and like, you know, just everything. So we're we're kind of going more towards if it was like, almost like, like the Menzingers and kind of like basement route of stuff. But I think at the end of the day, um, we're always gonna you know have like a punk in our blood and and have like a punk banger. So. All right. Well. Thanks so much, guys, for coming in. Uh, any last words, quick plugs, stuff like that? Um, for the demo. Yeah, yeah we got yeah, we're working on the demo. I just we, we're tracking. I mean, I basically record everything myself, and then uh, we're tracking vocals again with Compass Audio and Steve Perino. And I want to shout out some bands, um, some favorite local bands of ours: uh, Dark Spring, Honeymoon. I know Honeymoon yeah, played here. I love that oh, band. Yeah. Huge fan of that band. Of yeah, dude. Uh, Grievance Club. Um, Night in, um, gosh, so many bands. I'm probably brother. missing bands. I'm, I'm trying to think of. Forge and Wander, Thunder Bombs, Cold Swell. <laughs> Not Cold Swell, but, um, but yeah, but yeah, it's poor local music. Yeah. Good message to end on. Thank you, thank you guys so much for coming. Yeah, in. thanks Appreciate for having us, man. Totally. Here at BSR Live Sessions.